News, Nairobi. And with the commencement of the KCSE examinations, detectives from Garissa County and officials from the Ministry of Education are investigating an exam irregularity case at a secondary school in Dadab camp hours after the exams commenced countrywide. 29 phones were confiscated at the school, a loophole that the Kenya National Examination Council NEC attributes to the failure by invigilators to ensure proper frisking of candidates in the day school. Marianne Yambora reports on this vice that has been on an upward trend in recent years. <laughs> Cases of examination cheating marred the first day of the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education examinations. As more than 800,000 candidates sat their English and chemistry papers Friday. Kenya National Examination Council CEO Dr. David Njengere says 29 phones were confiscated by Ministry of Education officials from a day school at the Dadab camp in Garissa County. And the NEC team is also here. And they did an exemplary job uh, before the, the students could use the phones to do anything. They were arrested and those phones are, are being uh, analyzed by the DCI. We will get the report from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. And if the students are found culpable, uh, obviously we are going to apply the NEC rules as they apply to such cases. Sources revealed that the rampant cases of exam malpractices within the refugee camp can be attributed to some institutions setting standards for the candidates to score a minimum grade of C plus to earn them scholarships outside the country. However, cases of exam cheating have been on an upward trajectory over the last two years, more so during KCAC. In the KCAC 2021 exams, for instance, the Ministry of Education reported 441 cases of examination malpractice, compared to 287 cases of cheating from the 2020 KCSC. <laughs> the Ministry of Education has given more directives to security teams, exam centre managers and invigilators to curb the rising cases of exam cheating. The measures we have put in place this time is that the containers are opened at 7 not six, as was earlier being done. Therefore, centers have a shorter time with the scripts. Then we have said that the second session papers will be in front of the class and in full view of the security officers. Therefore, if we do that, then second session paper exposure is going to be minimized. In Baringo County, Seven candidates sat their national exams at the Kabartonjo Health Center and Baringo County Hospital after delivering their bundles of joy. Wawili walifanyiwa operation na watatu wamejifungua kawaida. Ngaje mmoja ali discharge jana so tunaamini ya kwamba alifanya mtihani mahali pake pa shule yake. Na wengine wanne ambao wamebakia tuko na wao hapa na tunafanya wanafanya mtihani tumewaandalia mahali pa kufanyia mtihani pale pasuri ambapo kumetulia the seven are among 48 candidates who are sitting their theory papers on the first day while expectant. Culture ile ya samani, watu wamewacha kiwango fulani. Na wakatu wamewacha kutoka kiwango fulani, ndio tunaona hii pengo saa hizi, tunaansa kupata watoto wakiwa na watoto. Na tungehomba, turugie, tuangalie, ne mali watu walikosea kwa kimila, ama vitu singine kidogo kidogo, Despite these isolated cases, examinations were administered smoothly in other counties such as Kisumu, Nakuru, Kakamega, Kisi, Nyamira and Taitataveta, where regional and county security teams warned examination centre managers against exam malpractices. 884,263 candidates are sitting their examinations, the fourth national examinations to be administered by the Kenya National Examinations Council NEC this year. Marianne Nyambura 